Dr. Aisha Rush here coming to you again. Today the discussion is going to be about a gynecologic topic because I've done a lot of obstetric topics lately and I like to interweave the things that women come to our office about a lot of times. One of those things is Bartholin cysts. What are they? So most often women with Bartholin cysts will present to the office with a very large painful vulva and it's usually on one side and it's almost as if they're sitting on a golf ball. What usually has them come in is not so much the size, unless it gets really, really big, which some of them can, um, it's usually the pain. So what are Bartholin's glands? These are glands that are on both sides of the vaginal opening um, that lubricate the vagina. When the duct to, those, to that gland gets clogged and is not able to secrete the lubricating substance that it um, lubricates the vagina with, that will back up. All of that lubricating substance will eventually end up not being able to escape and it will just continue to accumulate and accumulate. That accumulation ends up causing the vulva to get larger and also will cause that sort of golf ball feeling that women feel like when they sit down, but also significant pain because the stretch receptors of the vulva are is sending signals to the brain that there's pain there. There are some women that are more prone to these. We don't quite know why they that some women are more likely to experience these more often than others. There are some women that have never had a Bartholin's, um, a Bartholin cyst or Bartholin's abscess. And those are two different things. So we'll go and we'll flesh that out in just a moment. But when women do have them and they have them recurrently, there is treatment for them. Oftentimes when women come in with a Bartholin's cyst, many doctors like to what we call IND it or do an incision and drain it. Sometimes that's not the greatest thing to do. And the reason for that is because the vagina is much like the mouth. And if you ever bite your jaw, you'll notice that it'll be kind of raw on that side for a day or so. But by day three, it's likely healed over because that tissue turns over very quickly and you know, it heals much faster. So mucous membranes are often, you know, things that heal pretty quickly. So when a doctor goes in and does an incision and tries to drain this, oftentimes that incision will close up and heal very quickly. And then the patient's back at square one with that duct still being clogged and them having that lubricating substance back up. And then they're back in the office again. But now what may have happened because they've, you know, they've done the incision, bacteria could have gotten into it. And now we have a bacterial, you know, in there brewing and your body's trying to fight that bacteria off. And so now it's become an abscess. Some women can just develop an abscess for whatever reason, these things can become infected. Um, and then, you know, there's, instead of that um, sort of yellow, clearish, mucusy like a substance being released when the doctor does the incision and tries to drain it, now it's yellow and pussy. And that's when we know it's an abscess. Some women do six baths, you know, when these things happen. And sometimes that can actually allow that duct to be relieved of whatever clog is there. Um, and also be relieving in terms of pain. Um, so that is one treatment that some doctors will suggest to patients before we get to the point of manipulating this thing with like an incision and drain. The other thing that doctors can do is they can put in what's called a ward catheter. And this catheter allows the area to not reseal, let it redrain, but that ward catheter eventually has to be taken out and it's it has a little tail on it that hangs out. That's kind of creepy to some women. Um, and they don't prefer that, but it's probably the better thing to do than just to do an incision and drainage. Those typically stay in for quite some time. So they typically are going to stay in, you know, for weeks uh, at, at, at sometimes. And so some women are a little skeptical about that. Well, I'm going to have this thing here in here for weeks. What does that mean? 
Well, once pe women get used to it, you know, after a few days, then it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really um, register to them anymore, you know, that it's foreign. So, you know, they do get used to it over, you know, a course of a few days or so. The other thing that doctors can sometimes do, and I've had to do these surgeries before, is when we have patients who come in with recurrent Bartholin's cysts or abscesses, we have to do what's called a marsupialization. And with this surgery, we're basically just opening the gland so that you, so that this gland just does not end up getting clogged again or the duct getting clogged again and causing problems and usually with these surgeries women heal up very nicely um, and don't have any problems now what they may end up developing is that same problem on the other side um, and then if those become recurrent we may have to do that again on the opposite side I haven't seen that very often it's usually just one side um, so you know, I don't want women to be afraid that, you know, they're more prone to likely having it on the other side, you know, if they've had to have this, you know, a, 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 this, this surgery, a marsupialization, um, because that's not always the case. I, I have not done a, um, a surgery where I've had to do a marsupialization on the, on, on, the, on the opposite side. Now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen, you know, but um, I know that I've really, I've never seen it for me personally. Some doctors may have, but I have not. So then the question then becomes, okay, well, if you're opening that gland up with a the marsupialization, then am I going to have vaginal lubrication? Yes, absolutely. Because you also have other glands called Skeen's glands. Um, interestingly enough, Dr. Skeen was a doctor at the hospital that I trained at in Brooklyn. And the Skeen's glands, he discovered them and they were made after him. He actually has a bust in Brooklyn, New York um, and I, when I first moved to New York many, many years ago, I was reading, you know, just exploring New York and reading some of the, the, you know, the, the plaques. And I was like, oh my God, Dr. Skeen. And oh my God, he was at the doctor at the same hospital that I trained at. I felt so good about that. So you will have lubrication. Um, and your body has a way of compensating for, for that. So you never have to worry about that. If you, as a patient, I should say, notice that one lip of your vagina looks like it's getting larger, it's getting more painful, definitely go and see your physician. It's likely going to be a Bartholin's gland cyst or you know, hopefully not an abscess, but a cyst. And we may initially just suggest six baths, um, to see if that helps. And if not, then we move on to other things. But I don't want you to be afraid because it's not anything to be afraid about. Um, these things are rarely life-threatening. And so um, it's just something that happens with our body. I hope this was helpful for some women um, and um, it takes hopefully taking away some of that fear that women have when these things happen. Um, and you know, giving you the language to be able to talk to your doctor about this um, and to be able to help you, to, you know, describe what's actually happening to you. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Again, like and subscribe so that you can hear more of these topics and so that I can help educate you in this journey of being a woman. All right. Take care.